Knowing when your child is ready to start using a booster seat or adult safety belt can be tricky. We caught up with real mom Bree Dennis, who got a little help from child passenger safety technician Becky Levin about when to make the switch. Becky, thank you for coming. I really have some questions that maybe you can help me answer. I know some parents that whose kids give them a really, really, really hard time about riding their car seat. And the parents give in and they let their children ride with just a seatbelt. Is that really all that dangerous? It really is. Adult seatbelts are meant to fit adults. So if a child's in an adult seatbelt that doesn't fit properly and there's a car crash, the child can sustain serious head, neck, or internal injuries. A child needs to be in a forward-facing seat or a booster seat. A child stays in a car seat until when? Well, if you're asking about the law, it varies from state to state. But what really matters is safety. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that a child should be in a car safety seat, either a forward-facing seat or a booster seat, until the adult seat belt fits properly. For most kids, this is between 8 and 12 years old. Okay, so I know I have some definite confusion about when to transfer from a forward-facing car seat to the booster seat, and also from the booster seat to an adult seat belt for my kids. Sure, well let's get started. When exactly is the child ready to move from a forward-facing seat into a booster seat? Well, your child should stay in a forward-facing seat as long as possible until he's at least four years old. Most forward-facing seats have an upper weight limit somewhere between 40 and 65 pounds. There are also three points to consider. If any one of these is true, then your child has outgrown his forward-facing seat. If he's reached the height or weight limit recommended by the manufacturer, if the top of his ears are above the top of the car seat, okay. or if his shoulders are above the top harness slots, then he's too big for the car seat. Okay. Um, as far as boosters are concerned, is there a certain type that you would recommend? Well, there are two kinds of booster seats available. The choice really depends more on your vehicle. Okay. So there are backless belt positioning booster seats. Those can be used in cars that have headrests or high seat backs in the back seat. And then there are high back belt positioning booster seats. Those can be used in any car. If your car has low seat backs or no headrests in the back seat, then you have to use this kind. And they're both really easy to install. I love that. So is there anything special about the way the child should fit into a booster seat? Well, like with all car seats, you want to start out by reading your vehicle owner's manual and the booster seat manual to see how to use the booster seat in your car. Right. And also, like with all car seats, you need to put the booster seat in the back seat. You can only use a booster seat in a seating position that has a lap belt and a shoulder belt. Never use it in a seating position that only has a lap belt. You need to use both the shoulder and lap portions of the seat belt. The lap belt should be buckled so that it's low and snug across the child's upper thighs. And make sure your child doesn't put the shoulder belt behind his back or under his arm. So how long now does the child stay in the booster seat? The child should stay in the booster seat until the adult seat belt fits properly. For most kids, this is around four foot nine inches tall, usually between eight and 12 years old. But really the way to know is that all of the following are true. The shoulder belt goes across the child's shoulder and chest, not across the neck or throat. The lap belt lies low and snug across the upper thighs, not across the abdomen. And the child can sit with his back against the vehicle seat back and his knees bent at the edge of the seat without slouching and stay in this position comfortably for the entire ride. So each one of those things need to be true before a child can ride with the adult seat belt. That's right. Thank you, Becky, so much. I had so many questions and you definitely answered them. These are the three things that really stand out. Number one, Use a booster seat after your child outgrows the forward-facing seat. Number two, always use a booster seat with the vehicle's lap and shoulder belt. And number three, use a booster seat until the adult seat belt fits your child. Most communities have safety seat inspection clinics where technicians can look over your installation. You can find a clinic near you through Safe Kids USA.